Hey, welcome back. Today, we're pulling the engine out of the 100. Welcome back to Smoking Retros. Today we're going to start pulling out the engine. I unfortunately did start pulling it out, um, but I forgot to turn the mic on. So I, I've still got the footage, I will put the footage in, but I've got no sound of it, so it'll just be time lapse, unfortunately. But we started pulling out, we pulled just the exhaust manifold off and the inlet manifold off. But today the rest of the engine is coming out with the subframe. Let's get started. <laughs> So we're currently having technical problems with uh, the exhaust, not coming off, uh, but time for a bigger bar and give it a good smack. Shoot. So this is the terrible exhaust it had on it. It sounded alright. It's just that's holes. because it was holes. straight through the holes. <laughs> yeah, it was a uh, pretty much a straight through pipe on it <laughs> at one point. Uh, someone, someone decided the cherry one would be quite good. So again, Linky Jake. Uh, we possibly will be putting them back in, but I'm not 100% sure yet. So we're doing them when I'm at the front of the car again. So, I don't know if you can make it out. Uh, there's a little bit of bolts here. Of what link to the, that mount I've just taken off? I'm going to 
got these about 10 mils, they look like 10 mils long for you. Take that off and that entire bar should come with it. But as you can see, it's we're getting there. We're, we're moving at a nice steady pace. I've got me brother and stepdad currently taking the dash out. I know I said I wasn't taking it out, but to get to the to the fan unit and to some of the other bits out of the out of the engine bay, we actually need to take the dash out. So they're currently cracking on with that whilst I carry on taking bits out of the engine. Gear linkage. Don't know if I'll be reusing it. I'm not sure yet. So the alpha one lines up to where these ones go, and then we'll go from there with it. That's it. Tire dash is out, which is my brother and stepdad. That's all out now. Steering column is connected down there. That sunk down there, so we get that off and get all that out of the way. Fun. Are you going to leave the column in for now, or um, basically I'll just put the bolts, loose bolt it again, if you want to. Well just take it out, just undo it from that bracket down there. The knuckle. Yeah, the knuckle. Once this is all right, I've got the fun job at some point of remembering where everything goes. But it's pretty simple because we're not changing too much on the dash, so that's all good. Right. Come back when we're at the front. So, we're back up the front now. We're just pulling off the last few bits of some hydroelastic plates because it's a Rover Metro 100. It's at some hydroelastic suspension instead of normal coilovers, as most traditional cars are now. So we've just got to remove them lines, we're just going to bleed them out because we're not using the system anymore, so we're just cutting them and getting them out of the way. And then we shall crack on, pull in the, drop in the subframe and pull the engine up with it. So it's wheels, so it's sitting lower, so when we lift the body off, not the engine, when we lift the body off the engine, it'll... Uh, it's not going to fly off its actual stands, which is obviously not what we want, because that's going to cause more damage than I wish to repair. So as you can see, we've just cut the hydroelastic lines and it's just gone everywhere. And my stepdad's now covered in it, the floor's covered in it, the engine's covered in it, everything's covered in hydroelastic fluid. No, but I'll spread it around a bit. <laughs> yeah, we'll spread it around a bit, get it out of the way. But that's all that done. So now we're just gonna carry on and drop the engine out. We're gonna drop it out and we're gonna slide it out instead of lifting the car. So, we're going to call it a day at that for now. Uh, we've managed to get the engine out. We're, I'm quite happy that we've managed to do that today. He works part-time. <laughs> yeah, so we've, we've managed to get the engine out. Uh, next week we're going to, well, next time we're going to pull out the rear subframe fuel tank and get all the lines out so I can have a good look on rust because I've just found a massive patch under the passenger wheel latch. So, uh, we'll, we'll get all that done and once we're, once we're clear and get all the patches in, we'll take to cutting the roof off. 
which I have no doubt a few of you out there will quite enjoy. If, if you like the video, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'll I read all the comments that I get. So. Well, it be <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you watch it, and join us next time. Thank you very much. Bye.